Well, hello everyone. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is June 8th, 2016. We're in Bluffton in Cypress Ridge, the DR Horton community on the west side of Bluffton on Route 170 near the New Riverside Circle. And we're looking at the Hawthorne model at 226 Cooper Run Road. Uh, this model was just purchased as a quick move-in home by my clients. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent. We're going to walk through the Hawthorne. It's a very, very popular model. Everything on one level, although it does come with a loft alternative. Big covered front porch. Uh, this one has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and an office. Um, Again, I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 40 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. Again, my name, Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. My company, Go Gated Realty. I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen. Both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. Well, this part of Cypress Ridge is called the Estates. And it's the, I guess you could say, the biggest and the best community within Cypress Ridge here. The biggest lots, all hardy plank siding. Uh, in this case, we have both the shingle style and the clabbered style hardy plank. The trim is hardy plank. That's the concrete fiber board. That's the latest and greatest exterior building material that is on the finest homes in the area. This home being a quick move in home, and there are some others by the way, is no longer available. My buyers called me up and said they sold their home, needed to move down here by mid, actually early July, wanted to come meet with me. They, everything had to be, had to come together for them. So as far as a brand new home that was move in ready by their time frame that would meet their needs, well, we shopped several communities, a handful of homes, uh, this one jumped out and said hello to them, and we were able to negotiate a successful purchase, and I'm just so happy for them. Uh, Two-car garage, big covered front porch. Let's walk through and take a look at this model called the Hawthorne, 2,198 square feet. It's a very popular model by D.R. Horton. Once again, I do not work for D.R. Horton. I don't work for Cypress Ridge. I work for you, ladies and gentlemen, as a buyer's agent with 40 years of experience. And that's, of course, with a, an agreement that simply confirms that you understand how the agency works. And I'm paid at closing by the commission already in the price of this home and any other. I'm paid at closing if you buy and when you close. We can talk more about that when you call. Well. This Hawthorne has a big open contemporary floor plan with lots of traditional touches. We've seen the traditional appearance on the outside. Your dining room is immediately to the left with the three rounded pillars giving it a traditional touch of elegance. We have crown molding both in the foyer and in the dining room. The dining room is open to the living room with a telescopic sliding door which is a very popular option. Instead of just being a traditional slider, like you see in so many homes, and that's, of course, <laughs> uh, nothing wrong with that, but what's so popular these days is to have the extra pa panels so the two middle doors both slide open to the two fixed panels to the right. Gives you twice the opening, and that's a big extra in this home. The kitchen, too, is open to the living room with the one-level island the eat-in kitchen area here to the right with a pair of big windows there. Interior flat mullions, vinyl clad windows are all standard in the area, dual pane glass, all standard. This home has the brushed nickel light fixtures. We're gonna see it has brushed nickel uh, plumbing fixtures as well. The granite tops are standard in this neighborhood with DR Horton and this is a gas community. So you have a gas range Stainless steel appliances. 
This house has the dark cabinets. Well, this house is no longer for sale. As I said, this was just purchased with the closing coming up in a few weeks. But we can build one of these for you, either here in Cypress Ridge or over in uh, the um, a new community that D.R. Horton just took over, the May River Preserve. When I say took it over, it means that they have uh, 109 lots. They just bought the remaining uh, lots. I think it's 46 lots. They just purchased them. And they're going to be building this Hawthorne as one of several models over in that community as well. Now, the buyer will provide the refrigerator that's going to go in that space. This is a corner pantry, which is well located. And notice the wood floors. When you build, you choose your own wood floor. Well, this house was ready to go, a move in, ready to go home, uh, ready to go house. And so the wood was already chosen. All these selections were already made. The house is already finished. It's just uh, waiting for its final walkthrough. And the, and the buyers have asked me if I would do that in, for them when it comes time to meet the builder, typically a week before closing, just to go over any blemishes or problems that they can fix before the move in. I am a former licensed South Carolina home builder and I walk through these homes routinely during construction and before the completion on behalf of my buyers. I can do it for you as well. That's one of the questions that comes up is, how do you build a house when you're living in Ohio or New Hampshire or Virginia or wherever you're from? How do you do that? Well, we're used to dealing with absentee buyers and you go back home and you sell your house if you haven't sold it already. And meanwhile, we're building here because DR Horton has a program where you can build contingent upon the sale of your home where you live now. Now this front right room here in the Hawthorne uh, has multiple um, possibilities. This one here is open without a doorway, without a, a, a door that would close. I would say many people would fit this with double doors and make it into an office or a TV room. In this case, it is open. And one of the things that attracted my buyer to this uh, plan was the fact that this extra room was here. They have a baby grand piano and this is where it's going to go. So into this front library is the way it's advertised but it's going to become their piano room. And so therefore this opening is no problem. Of course, you can always fit it with doors. Let's take a look at the master bedroom, which is off to the right. This house has what is sometimes called a split floor plan with the primary bedroom on one side of the living space, the second and third bedroom on the other side. This is our master bedroom, plenty big enough for your king size furniture. It does have a tray ceiling. <clears throat> and in this case, the house is being sold without ceiling fans. If you've taken other of my video tours, you know I'm a big advocate of the 52 inch ceiling fan for both energy conservation and for your comfort. Those fans allow you just to move the air around and instead of adjusting your thermostat, you just turn on your fan yeah, very southern and very practical. Here's our primary bedroom, to be politically correct, master bedroom, traditionally said. You have your dual vanity there with the uh, cultured marble top, which is the resin quartz product, which is man-made and molded. Your brushed nickel bath fixtures is uh, standard in these homes. <coughs> it's an option with others. Big fixed wall mirror. The dark cabinets, many people like the dark. Well, when you build, you'll choose your cabinets. And the commode is tucked into a closet there, the way it is in so many Hilton Head homes. I call that the water closet. And in this bathroom, you have both your tub and shower. Big fiberglass garden tub with the full-size window over that, which of course will be shaded for privacy. And you have a fiberglass shower. Now, when you build again, uh, and I work with many buyers who want a new home, they want to build, we, I guide them through that process. We compare builders, we compare neighborhoods, models, all, all kinds of things. Well, you have several steps that you go through. And one is to, of course, uh, define your budget overall. We shop neighborhoods. 
We compare builders and the models that they have to find the one that's right for you and make sure that their base price is within your budget. We then select a lot for you and the next step would be to go into the design center where you choose all these different materials and colors that are non-structural, things like tile or fiberglass, whether you want the crown molding uh, up into your, well, if you go with a tray ceiling, the crown molding I think is standard, but whether or not you want, for instance, cultured marble or granite, what kind of granite, what kind of color, the type of carpet, the exterior colors, these are all things that you would choose in the design center. And then you come out with a final price, which is fixed. And you won't be getting any stories or excuses from D.R. Horton as an example about how, because of X, Y, Z, they need more money as they move along, like so many of you have experienced with other builders. And that's just not going to happen, because once they give you a price, they stand behind it and it is a fixed price, you will not have any trouble with that. That is an additional answer to the question is, how do you build from a distance? How do you know that the costs are gonna be under control and so forth and so on? Well, we're good at it, they're good at it, and uh, as your representative, I do what I can, of course, to uh, act as your eyes and ears on the job. Well, this is the second and third bedroom off to the right. Our laundry room is straight ahead towards the garage. Let's just start over here to the right. This second and third bedroom is separated very well from the rest of the living space, as you can see. This bathroom then services your second and third bedroom. It has a tile floor, as did our other bathroom. And again, a cultured marble top, brush nickel here, fixed wall mirror, your wall light, very standard in these bathrooms to have a high horizontal window, although in some models it's standard, in others that's an option as well. Again, one of your choices, do you go with a fiberglass shower or do you want a tile shower? These are all things that can either save you money or add to your cost. Having panel doors is standard. You'll choose your hardware, in this case it's brushed nickel. You might prefer to go with the lever handles, that's very uh, popular. Again, that's an option. Notice down here the piece of blue tape. The blue tape indicates that the builder is saying they know there's a, an issue there. They need to have the contractor come back and fix some grout. And that final walkthrough is what I call the blue tape walkthrough. That's where we go over all the finishes and make sure that the painter, if they've missed anything, that they come back and take care of it before closing. Although Horton and other builders, they warranty their work for at least the first year. They come back and do all kinds of touch-ups and settling or crack uh, uh, re resolution, although that sounds harsh. Uh, things do happen, although I do know in the case of Horton that they do a double um, impaction test on their soil before they build uh, and have very good quality control in a general sense. Uh, also very highly energy efficient homes. Now uh, Horton, that's not unique just to Horton, but Horton, uh, these builders are so competitive that they know <laughs> an energy efficiency is such a big deal these days. They uh, uh, give uh, tests, and the codes by the way are so much stricter than they used to be, that they have what's called the HERS test. They test for all the duct work efficiency that must meet a certain standard before they'll get their certificate of occupancy. And so these are also things that the building department uh, also uh, takes over and is a, another reason why you can build with confidence from a distance. Well, here's our laundry room with a big window. We have what's called the drop zone here, which is also an option in many homes. It's just a place for storage and to hang some things up. It's a bit of woodworking, which a lot of people enjoy. Tile floor, the owner will provide their own washer and dryer. Adding a bank of cabinets across the top would be an option. Your standard is typically a wire shelf, like you see there. And you would enter the house then most times from the garage. And in this case, we have a big two-car garage. Standard is your automatic door opener. Cypress Ridge is a gas community, so we have our gas water heater out here in the 
garage. You've already seen that we have a gas range. A fireplace is another option that some people like, and you'd have a choice of a gas uh, fireplace if you like. Your whole house water uh, turn off is out here. Anytime we have a house inspected, the inspector always says to uh, make sure you know where that water cutoff is in case there's ever an emergency. You don't want to uh, come home to a flooded house. Well, that's a very rare event, but still, <clears throat> if you ever did have a water leak, you want to know. So I can tell you that uh, this is just uh, really a popular floor plan. Uh, I would invite you to contact me about your real estate needs. Let's get acquainted. Let's find out what you're looking for, the budget that you're comfortable with, the type of home, the number of bedrooms, location, the community amenities. One of the big things here for a buyer of a home is annual HOA fees, something that a lot of people don't have where they're from. Uh, do you like a low fee? Do you like more of a country club style lifestyle that comes along typically with a higher fee? Well, these are all things that we talk about when we're looking for what's right for you. I work for you, ladies and gentlemen. I don't work for the seller. And it just doesn't cost you anything more. In South Carolina, you have a right to have an agent working for you. We're only paid at closing if you buy and when you close. So again, it makes it something of a no-brainer. We can see that this yard has been sodded recently with pine straw around the base, minimal landscaping in terms of bushes. Many people like the fact that builders like D.R. Horton don't have um, a lot of trees around because it means you don't have to worry about leaves and branches and things that might be all over your house. Other people, well, they actually want mature landscaping. We would look for a community that would have that for you. And we'll shop and compare, make sure that you get the home that you're looking for, that the price that you want, well, that's what I'm here for, to help any way I can. This is a walk down the side, looking at this hardy plank siding. We have our irrigation system. We have a brand new heat pump. We have the attachment where your cable company will come in, your electric register and your gas meter. All things that when you buy, you'll walk through the house with the superintendent at closing or before closing, a week before closing and the superintendent will explain all the details of the house to you, answer all your questions, and so I'm happy to show you this house today. This is the Hawthorne, ladies and gentlemen. Let's build one for you. I'm very happy for my buyers who just took this one off the market. This one was listed. It was listed for $324,450. $324,450, it was listed for that. 2,198 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, two car garage, the Hawthorne. Well, let me give you my contact information. Invite you to call me, Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company again, Go Gated Realty. Uh, my cell number, and please call any time. It's 843-684-2933. That's 843-684-2933. And my email is rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. My website is gogated.com. And you can search all MLS listings at gogated.com at any time. I welcome that. I also welcome that you call or email. Let's get acquainted. I'll send you a list of all the homes or condominiums, building lots, whatever you're looking for that could possibly meet your needs. It'll be in a format that will update automatically. It will save you a lot of time. And of course, with 40 years of local real estate experience, I have advice that you can trust. You know, you pay the same commission when you buy a house whether your agent is brand new and perhaps doesn't have the best advice or someone like myself with 40 years of local real estate experience and with advice that you can trust. 
So why not get a good agent who can help you? And you never know what kind of help that your agent can provide that will make a big difference in your success and your happiness, your confidence. Well, please call. If you uh, like this video, by the way, there are more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. So please subscribe. Thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure to show this home to you. I personally like the Hawthorne model very much and I'd be very interested to know what you think if it could possibly be for you. So thank you again. I look forward to meeting you. So please call or email.